The Senate will come to order. Today's opening prayer will be offered by guest chaplain Rabbi Shea Harlick of Chabad of Southern Nevada. Almighty God, members of this prestigious body, the United States Senate, convene here in the spirit of one of the seven Noahide laws which was set forth by you as an eternal universal code of ethics for all mankind, that every society be governed by just laws, which are based in the recognition of you, O God, as the sovereign ruler of all people and all nations. We, the citizens of this blessed country, proudly proclaim this recognition in our commitment to justice and our pledge of allegiance, one nation, under God, with liberty and justice for all. Grant us, almighty God, that those assembled here today be aware of your presence and conduct their deliberations accordingly. Bless them with good health, wisdom, compassion, and good fellowship. On this 25th day of June 2009, which corresponds to the third day of the Hebrew month of Tammuz, we are 15 years to the day from the physical passing of our esteemed spiritual leader, the Lubavitcher Rebbe, Rabbi Nachman Mendel Schneerson of blessed memory, who will consistently extol the virtues of this great land as a nation of kindness. I beseech you, Almighty God, to grant renewed strength and fortitude to all who protect, preserve, and help further these ideals so essential to the dignity of the human spirit. Please grant that our beloved Rebbe's vision of a world of peace and tranquility, free of war, hatred, and strife, be realized speedily in our days. God bless this hallowed body. God bless our troops who stand in defense of this great land. God bless the United States of America. Please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The clerk will read a communication to the Senate. Washington, D.C., June 25th, 2009, to the Senate. On the provisions of Rule 1, Paragraph 3 of the Standing Rules of the Senate, I hereby appoint the Honorable Kirsten E. Gillibrand, a senator from the State of New York, to perform the duties of the Chair, Sign Robert C. Byrd, President Pro Tempore. Madam President. The Majority Leader. Madam President, um, with the Senate Chaplain, Admiral Black, standing by, we all listened to prayer of uh, one of our Jewish brethren from Las Vegas, <coughs> Rabbi Harlig. Uh, chaplain, I'm sure, was pleased with the prayer. Uh, those of us in attendance here were pleased with the prayer. It was really a meaningful, wonderful prayer for the Senate and our country. So I want to welcome Rabbi Harlig for helping us open the Senate and for the beautiful prayer that he uttered. Rabbi Harlig and his wife, Dina, breathed new life into the Southern Nevada Jewish community when they opened a Chabad Center in their living room in 1990. It, was, it has grown dramatically since then and successfully grown. And there are now five such community centers in Southern Nevada. Organizing Rabbi Harling and his friends, I'm sorry, and his, and his, the organization Rabbi Harling founded has taught many children and many adults and done so many mitzvot or good deeds for so many people. As Rabbi Harling mentioned in his invocation, today is significant it's significant because it's the day of the Shabbat community, important the day in the Shabbat community. It's the 15th anniversary of the passing of Lubavitcher Rebbe, Rabbi Shanarison, one of the great Jewish leaders of our time. So thank you, Rabbi, for joining us in the United States Senate today. 